Welcome back everyone to Ord's Automation Days Asia 2021. We've had a very short break, but it's already time to introduce our next speaker. And I promise you, you'll find this a very interesting session. I have the great pleasure to introduce our new, uh, next speaker, who is Mr. Vipul Tuwari, who is an, currently an RPA engineer at Amazon. And they know a thing or two about automation and digital transformation. Vipul comes with many years of experience with a demonstrated history of working in finance, telecommunications, and IT. And he's been involved in several large-scale solutions end-to-end -end, and mentored many people in the field of RPA and artificial intelligence. Currently, Vipul is working as a senior process simplification developer at Amazon. Um, one of the key things that Vipul is going to be talking about today is how he managed to win five national hackathons and has also been given the chance to judge a couple of them. Vipul is skilled in a lot of RPA tools ranging from power tools towards Python, mainframes, Power BI, and you name it. A real great presenter that is presenting for the first time here today at uh, Automation Days Asia. It is really my strong pleasure to welcome Vipul Tuwari uh, from Amazon. Vipul, the floor is all yours. Thank you for the wonderful introduction, Zen. Uh, Hi guys, it's, it's it's a pleasure to you know meet you all. And uh, when Jen was giving my introduction, I was I was literally kind of thinking that this was not the this was not the path I have thought I I have ever been. You know, I will tell you why exactly. I I come from a. I come from a very very small college in um, in, in in Jaipur, India, and. Uh, I, I'm a. I have done my graduation in electronics and communication, and you know we are we are not that co coding guys. We 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 normally don't do that much coding, and I was I was I was always I dreamt of being a developer, but I was not very you know very comfortable with uh, too much coding and all those kind of things. And uh, here I am sharing my experience with you all uh, uh, about how I became a developer and now currently I'm working in Amazon. Of course, uh, Hackathon is a Hackathon has played a key part in my journey, which I will be sharing with you all. And uh, trust me, you will you will you will love my love the experience of my hackathon uh, the current the project which i have which i have you know which has changed my life to be frank when from from starting from a electronics and communication non coder to now a developer and again um, again it's 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 a kind of life which i'm enjoying thank you so without wasting further time um, just quick quickly to give you a, a background my past past what, what where i came from so as i said i, I am from jaipur rajasthan india and uh, i have done my graduation in electronics and communication not a coder again uh, and i i got a placement in, in in a telecom giant where i was where i was a site engineer again a site engineer work is mainly to you know play with some Excel files and create a new Excel file by looking at a site on all 4G, 3G, 5G kind of stuff. We, we create templates on, on, onto, um, onto the brand specific details. Yeah. So that was again, a, a very static kind of job working that there was a fixed files we used to work on and then we we knew it, it is like you can have a cup of coffee and you know you can work you can you, you know what are the rules in, in those files and all and i was a site engineer to be to be frank here i was not very happy that point of time with my job because it was like hey man this is this this was not the work which i which i wanted to do in my during my career and uh, they, they, there I heard while, while going through my journey I heard a word about I, I was having a word with my boss and he was seated in Sweden he was he was he was, he was a great manager to be frank and I, I was like I don't want to do this can you can you suggest me something where I should you know work on my skills on and he told me go for AI and I was like okay let's go for AI and again artificial intelligence it's a very big term and I was like from where to start and then while looking all to everywhere, it's AI is a big term, how we, how we can start with AI and what should we do? We, we took a pillar, which is RPA, Robot Process Automation. And for for for, for a few guys who, who are not aware about what RPA is, I will go through the slides and, um, and, and give you a brief about what RPA is and 
how it helps in automating the stuff day to day day to day stuff and my hackathon experience is also based on that and so so coming back to the coming back coming back uh, i had a word and we 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 were like let's go with rpa we we started with this again we were two people who started our rpa in our pillar ericsson uh, in our company's pillar and then it it took us few months to you know expand the team from 2 to 16 18 then uh, 25 then 40 and when i was leaving it it was a team of 80 plus people and uh, in in a year we have managed to you know we we saw that much potential i'm i'm and the best part was i started i started with automating my my project even i started with my project and i was like i know the rules in my project it's a very it it's it's like i know what needs to be done i was not very sure which 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 will be the tool but i know now rpa and we 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 started doing we we automated the complete flow and the process which i was doing for 8 hours we managed to you know the same process which i was doing i automated it and we it it was like it was taking Five ten minutes in background when just sending me mails that I have done your job and it was fantastic. And as you we were go as you we were growing, I I thought of you know um, I I knew in I knew in my heart that this is something which I want which interests me because I'm not a damn good coder as I said, but I want to do some cool stuff. And here's the tool, here's the technology, and I, I started with RPA and and. yeah this this is this is where uh, my journey started from and i managed to you know in in my life span i managed to uh, be 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 the mvp of one of the tools again few hackathons i won i'm 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 trying to talk with people because everyone most of the people i'm not sure about for sure i i, I assume that it's it's the same case uh, international also but to be frank in india we are like if you are not from cs background if you are not a computer science or it background people fear that we can't code we can't automate things we can't write macros we can't take stuff out from a pdf we can't we can't achieve all that and i speak with i speak with those i speak with those people i i give them i give them classes i i talk with them i i try to basically tell them that it's very easy guys it's very easy and uh, i myself is being motivated by one of the person one of the one of the person who i who i've came across in my life okay i will and let's let's go with the presentation so that i can you know okay first let's let's start by understanding your view uh, about the about the audience have you guys ever participated in a hackathon as a again as a developer as a as a mentor as a judge Yes, so uh, people here, I'm going to help you out a little bit with launching the formal poll in the back end, so people have the opportunity to cast their votes. So yeah. give me one second to put that on the screen, and it's going to start right now. So the question here is: Have you ever participated in a hackathon? Yes, no, I didn't get a chance, or no, I'm not interested at all. Just to kind of see what the audience thinks. See a lot of people are already starting to answer it, so I'll leave it open for ten more seconds. More and more results are starting to drip in. Good, I'll leave it open for another five seconds. Good, and I'm going to close the poll right now. The results should be shown on the screen to everyone right now. But people, just so you know what kind of audience you have. Um, the majority of people that did actually not participate in hackathons, 78% did never participate and didn't get the chance. Only 10% of participants have ever participated in a hackathon, and around 14 did not and don't have any intention to. Perfect. That's that's a uh, back to you. Uh, perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Jin. That's a wonderful poll, guys, and. Uh, Thanks, thanks for the response. And for those people who have who have already who have participated in hackathon, I. I I know that they they know the importance of the hackathon. For those who have not participated and have no in, and have and for those who have no no interest in hackathons, trust me. Once I will take you through the experience of my hackathon journey, I you will get some interest of participating in hackathons by by the end of this session. So just just bear with me uh, till till uh, till the time we go on with the hackathons experience, and. Uh, 
yeah so again uh journey started from participating in hackathons i was a, i was a i do become became a developer rpa developer we 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 were like we we were automating excel we were automating uh, tools web applications and all but still that was not the cherry we were still missing something and the the value the value what benefits we are like when when we when we seeing a project we are like it is taking 12 hours it is taking 8 hours it is taking 5 hours let let's take this project okay and our analysis on selecting the process from the backlog was very bad at that point of time though we were still automating the processes we were not looking at the benefits which we were giving back okay and as soon as the as soon as our experience has grown we have seen that it's not about how much time it saves it's not about it's not about giving something back to the business we have to make sure that we are not giving them something more comp complicated than their all than than the process which they are all, already having just there was one I, i will quickly tell you a, a, a quick story of one one of the process which i have worked on and there was there was one customer and uh, we have looked at the process we said it's 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 a good fit to rpa because we, we were to be to be frank we were very bad with analysis at that point of time and we quickly automated we we used three of the two we we used three tools and we we have given them a interface to interact with the background was rpa and then a quick good present and and a good good reports and all and once we have given that to business business was like previously we were taking 2 hours to do this job now it is taking us Four hours to do this job. How it is actually benefiting us? And trust me, that was a very good question from business, and we were not having that answer at that point of time, <laughs> because we, we the, the only focus was just to automate something. Just you know, it it is taking that much time. Let's automate it. Let's put a tool there. Let's let's simplify the process. But we are not we are not looking at it it in a big picture. How it will look five years after today? How how much easy it will be for business to grab it? because we might we as a developers we feel we are very good with uh, you know new to new tools adapting to technologies adapting to um adapting to new interfaces but when it comes to business they are not very good with changes when when you give them a new tool when you take the old old process from them and when you give them a new process to to the complete team they it's it's a very hard for them and you know it's 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 our duty to to make it a easy easy going for them to learn the new process and and get get along with it but at that point of time we were not very sure about the things and uh, and and then we 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 created something i i joined a hackathon uh, how i joined it and what value it bring i will i will tell you soon but before joining in the hackathon i, I have to quickly give you a, uh, a a brief around what is rpa just to make sure that we all are on the same page around the technology which we, which i used in the hackathon and the project which i have developed on it will go a little technical when it comes to my project and um and and i will make sure to make it as easy as, as for you guys to understand what i developed why i developed what technology are you is, is used okay so so just to make sure that make sure of that I, i will quickly tell you about what is rpa okay rpa is robotic process automation this 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 the three words are more than enough to you know tell what it do it we the automation we do the automation of the processes by using ro robots it's not what it's not robots it's a software okay and we you you you, you can say we create we we create single uh, you you create simple files you create simple robots which will do your work so if 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 say for example my my day to day job is you know extracting a email my boss is sending an email i have to i have to look at the email i have to i have to extract uh, attach at the attachments i have to do something with the attachments i have to get the invoice number i have to paste the invoice number in a in a uh, invoice tool and i have to do the payment and then, then i have to reply back to my boss that i have done all these payments and let's let's say this is my process i'm just quickly giving you example let's say this is my process now this process is a very static process i'm we pull to do this process from start to end is taking 5 hours to do say for example 30 30 payments a day but he is not using his brain it's a very static process maybe maybe in uh, out of all those 30 30 instances in a day i might be using uh, there might be exceptions 10 or 15 but for most of them most of the values i'm not using anything i'm simply i know the rules 
I know it's I I know what needs to be done. I know that it's it's a uh, I have to write M1 to go to the next screen. Then I have to write something on. Uh, I have to I have to click on the attachments. I have to attach my file and and a very static flow. RPA as a technology will help you guys and helps us to automate the stuff. So no, if if we know the rules, if it's a static process, we can simply you know tell tell a bot to do it for us. The bot will sim. The bot will also do the same steps. The bot will also click click on places. The bot will also use the keyboard. It will use your machine for that point of for for that instance, with much more accuracy, with a little more speed. And it of course it can ask more hands from it for from his friends, which are other bots which have which we have created. And you know and how good it will be if instead of working from eight to five. We pull this logs logs in at five, and I'm not I'm not saying we should do that. But if we pull this logs log logs in at five o'clock and see, ah, all the thirteen voices are done, and this is the report, and bot is sending a mail to my boss and or and me saying that I have done your work, and these are the payments, these are the ones which we, which I have done for you, these are the ones which I have found difficulties because of this 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 reason. Complete work is done, and this is what RP helps us with. There are many tools in the market. Uh, Uh, Blue Prism, UI Path, Automation Anywhere, Microsoft Power Automate. There are many tools in the market which will help us in achieve the achieving the same. But the main cherry ar around here is that we'll create something, uh, a software mainly to automate a uh, business steps, to automate a process for us. Again, the process can have multiple tools. The process can have multiple applications. Uh, Uh, and we, you know, we 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 go in an agile way by taking one one specific part of the process, and we we deliver some benefits, and in in a long run, complete process is automated. So this is this is what RPA is again, robot process automation. We automate the stuff for 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 the business, so so that making sure that they are not doing the 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 static work work around, they are doing the smart work more. Okay, and they they are they are you they are giving their time more to the work, which is. Which which is you know which is challenging and which is making more sense. And again, in this invoicing part, again there can be some tweaks where where you know it's 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 a payment. So maybe a third eye check can be introduced in in, in the flow itself, asking before payment. Bot is asking the user, saying, uh, "Can you confirm whether I should be doing this payment or not?" And we call it human and loop. And this all can be achieved by by using our pay. It can be attended bot. It can be an attended bot, human and loop where where. Where bot is interacting with the human continuously for for making decisions and all, and where and other ways where bot is running in the background 24/7, making sure that everything is done and make and giving a result back to the user at the end. There there are two ways around, and there there are many more to it. But the but but the basic idea here is that we have AI, artificial intelligence, which is which is. Which is again an automation. To be frank, how it is how you see it, which is again an automation. It's just that AI use makes its own decisions. AI is smart enough to learn from from the data and to make its own dis decisions. On the other way around, RPA is not that smart enough. As soon as it it finds expect ex exception, it will stop or it will shout, "Hey guys, I don't know how to handle this case. Can you help me with that?" And then you have to do some tweaks in the code. Some some enhancements, and then it and as soon as it's it's done, it's again running the same way it was. Okay, so it's again RPA is a pillar of AI. It, it's how you it's how I see it, but it's not that smart enough. It's a static flow. So for all the static flows, we use RPA for automating the end to end stuff. And this uh, this to and why I I I've seen this slide and I I, I literally love this slide about about automation uh, because it gives us a flavor of why automation is important and you see the companies in 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 a in in the companies which we have seen in the past experiences who have the whoever is adopted first to you know uh, Amazon was the first to you know get 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 used to internet and then then Uber for mobile and cloud and they they are the winners they they. They they took they they took the opportunity at the right point of time, and then they, and they then they are the the leaders in the market right now. We all know about them. Same goes for automation first companies. Same same we say for automation, the companies who have who have already started using automations are you know are seeing values. 
we, we have seen we we have seen i have i myself have seen growing my team from five people to from two people to be frank to 18 and then 80 plus to be frank and it's it's not with one company it's it's with every place and same in amazon to be frank so rpa the, the companies the companies who have already already ad adapted with the technology they, they they see they know the value they are using they they are they they know the value and they are automating all the good stuff which which which, which they feel like and they then they are making sure that their employees are working on something which is which is you know which is which is somewhat challenging and it it gives you a free time to be frank guys so out of eight hours give five hours to you know the, some cool stuff and other the remaining ones to to maybe checking or giving an eye to what my bot is doing or or what my other hand is doing yeah it's 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 a high it's it's robot is indirectly hiring a new employee in the team so this is why automation is important and just and the next slide is about the hackathon the experience the one which we are which which we all are waiting for and i'm eagerly waiting to share with you but before going to that i i have to you know quickly get get to know do you really feel rpa can be used for a cause thanks so much people so um I, I will start the next poll right now um you will see it coming up on the screen right now question is do you think rpa technology can be used for a cause is the answer yes no not sure or maybe what do you think oh i see a lot of people voting very very quickly Good, I'll leave it open for another five seconds. Good, last opportunity to cast your vote before I will close the poll. And I'm going to close it right now. So people, I think this is kind of the results that you're gonna be very happy to see. Um, the overwhelming majority, 83% thinks yes, and 18% thinks maybe. So um, there's actually nobody who answered no. So I think this is kind of in line with what you're going to talk about next. Back to you. Yes, I, I love the results. Thank you, Jan, again. Uh, and, and, and guys, I love the results. And uh, just, just, just before going to the next slide, I, if, if you ask me, do I believe that RP can be used for a cause before, before, going, before going in this hackathon? My answer would be probably no. And I was like, RPA just for enterprise. We automate, we automate business flows, how it can be used for a cause. And I will share my experience and not giving more. Uh, let's quickly jump to the next slide. And this is this, this, this. So uh, I, I joined my new organization. And again, uh, we, 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 we were, uh, I was, I was new to the team and there was in, in the initial, in the initial, the, the, the way we call it honeymoon days of my company, <laughs> I was, I was, I was not having that much, that much pressure. And I, and I thought of utilizing my time onto something. And uh, here I saw a hackathon, which was UiPath's hackathon. I was like, let's participate. I have. I have simply, you know, registered myself, and without having an idea on with what will be my project. That was my first hackathon, my first experience. I have simply enrolled myself, and I was like, I don't know what will be my topic. And to be fair, I, I was I was chill enough to not, no, uh, to to not think about the project, and I, I was I was having I, I was working on my desk and. Uh, I, I received a mail email from from our HR saying that there is a Counter Strike event which is about to go. Counter Strike is a gaming gaming um, is a shooting game to be frank, and there's a Counter Strike event which is about to which which, which is in next two days which will be happening. Do you want to enroll? And as I said, I was too free to enroll in that, <laughs> and um, the, uh, the the Counter Strike event started. Uh, the bad, the good part was it was a good experience. I was, uh, I, I loved the game. Uh, the bad part was my my ranking was same as as of my enrollment number, and in thousands. And I was like, which is fine. I'm not a good good uh, good gamer also. So, but 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 as a courtesy, I thought of you know congratulating the top three winners. So like, why don't I ping them and then congratulate? Hey guys, you you won the competition so great because we are in the same company and have a cup of coffee with them. Maybe I ping them, and uh, 
I got a good response. One of them, strangely, I said, hey man, congratulations. And I got a response. I can't see it. And I was like, okay, that's that was not what I was expecting. I pinged him back, sorry, can you come again? And it's like, as I said, I can't see what you're typing me. Can you please send me a voice note? And trust me, when when we are on that seat, when we are on that, in, in, if you could have been in my shoes, you could have felt that it was too awkward for me. I was feeling like somebody's, you know, making some somebody's simply pulling my leg, and I was like, I was like, it's it's fine, man. It's I, I just I just pinged you to congratulate you, and it's okay. He pinged me back. He's like, don't you understand? I can't I can't see what you're saying. Can we have a cup of coffee? I'm like, okay. Let's have a cup of coffee, and uh, I, I went downstairs, uh, Starbucks nearby, and I was just I, I was I was just waiting for the person. I was like, "Where's the person?" And his name is Dinesh Kaushal. Uh, I I saw him. I, I saw a person. There are too many people again outside outside Starbucks. I saw a person who was holding a stick with black goggles, and he was simply standing there. And I was like, "Of course, he's not the person whom I'm waiting for." I saw him. I look at him, and it's like. Uh, like, do you want to help, sir? Like, hi, you people. So, like, yeah. And my name is Dinesh. Complete blank. For for literally for ten to fifteen seconds, I was completely blank. Is he the? There were too many questions in my mind. I was like, he's the person I was talking to. Why he's holding a stick? Why there are black goggles? Of course he's. Of course he he he's giving giving me an image of uh, that that he's visually challenged and all those questions in my mind. I was like. Yeah, we and he directly told me, "I know what you're thinking, Vipul. It's fine. Let's let's have a seat and let's have a cup of coffee." We 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 sat down. We 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 were chat. My first question was, "Sir, how, how exactly you are working?" He opened his laptop. He logged in, and he was much faster than me. He so so just to give you a brief about Dinesh. Dinesh is a senior senior analyst, a senior uh, developer in in one of one one of the good companies, good for one one of the entertainment companies. And he has in in his past he has worked with Microsoft, Nvidia. He has created damn good tools. He works on a he works on Python, a big a good coder. He works on lakhs of lines of code, and. Uh, this is a good part about him the bad part about him is and the strange part about him is that he is visually impaired he is 100% blind he is 100% blind and now i know what you will be thinking how exactly he is coding how exactly he is making sure that he is he he, he is debugging the uh, code perfectly so to answer that in every machine we have narrators we have text, we we have uh, Our Windows narrator on mo for mobile devices also we have narrator and he uses that narrator, do you know, to read everything on the screen for him, and he simply moves his mouse and narrator reads it reads everything for him. Now he the the the, the good the the very strange part of, about again this is that he is working with NVIDIA to to create to to create his own personalized uh personalized narrator uh, uh because the current narrators have many issues. Have many issues, and one and the the speed which he was using narrator was uh, the speed which which he was listening to the narrator was a sound for me, was a noise for me when I was hearing that that speed because of course you have to read a complete screen, you have to move your mouse from start from stop top pane to the last complete bottom, and if you if you are giving that much time on every screen, you you, you can you can feel like right right how much time it will take. So he's taking he he's using the narrator at at a maximum speed, and for me for guys like us when who who are, you know who are not very used to this, it was a noise, it was a tapping sound for me, and I was not at all hell getting what narrator was what saying, but for him, it was it was damn it it was it was making sense. and he he showed me quickly uh, how he is you know how he is uh, debugging how he is how he is working and it was it was an amazing experience meeting him and to be frank that 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 talk with him changed my life and once once after that i i asked him can you dinesh can you tell me the day to day and again i was not thinking about the hackathon at that point of time i was not not at all concerned or there was no idea about the hackathon i was i was completely i completely forgot about the hackathon till till then and uh, i i i asked dinesh you know uh, 
do is there something which i can help you with is there something where you need my help so he's like i don't know which you can help me with but i can tell you my challenges he told me many challenges which he's facing in in, in his day to day life while working and i saw one of the challenges which which was which was like hey man i can solve this for you the challenge was to to quickly brief you about the challenge there are many mail email chains which are circulated you know for for events or or within the team for 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 some ideas and 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 people normally it it's a it's a text email but some but mostly people use images in the emails some some links some uh some embedded hyperlinks images pins board uh, uh frames and etc etc which which if you will use your narrator to read that for you narrator will fail narrator will simply say dot jpg one dot jpg xyz dot jpg same goes for hyperlink it will simply read the hyperlink for you it will not read what is there on the hyperlink and which is a challenge for dinesh so dinesh was like as you were pinging me even on the skype i was not able to read what you are saying and that was a big challenge few of few of the places my narrator fails though even i have reached to microsoft and uh, google to you know help me out with the narrators they and they 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 do are working on the same but still for now i have to you know ask help from someone and it's 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 very it's a uh, they they do help but in a day asking again and again about the same issue it 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 it, it, it irritates him a little and like we can do it like it's a perfect we can we can do it and i and i took that idea and i took that idea from from there and like why don't i create a bot for bot bot for him which will do the same and the, the picture which you're seeing on the screen his his dinesh the on on the 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 the, the gorgeous lady there is 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 his wife and uh, unfortunately she is also completely blind that the, the one the, the 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 child which i'm holding he he's it's his son and good part is he is not blind he can see he he he's he's blessed with with his visuals and um i i was like let me do this project for you this this is a this is a picture from the hackathon and uh, i took i took that project again rpa gives us that functionality to you know to 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 get the details out from emails to integrate with outlook to integrate with the web applications and i simply simply created him a attended bot so whenever he's, he he sees that his narrator is is failing he can simply he he's, he can simply uh, he has to give a keystrokes on keyboard control alt and w and it will run his bot for him and it will read the email or the hyperlinks for him him when as a developer if you see this process if you see this project it's a very small project it's a very tiny code which you have to do simply get the mail read the stuff use google apis to read it for you from text to speech and it's done that's it but you see the value here it has changed his life it has changed his life it's it says not only changed his life there is a there is a ngo named as enable india which is which is using this narrator to you know uh, to to help their uh, to help their visual challenged people and and they their aim is to target th those employees which are which are challenged which which are which which are challenged and they are they, they are still they they still wish to work and they are working and the, the the target is to help them and it is getting used by them a very simple process a very simple project has changed someone's life and this 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 is what my this is what the changing pillar was and uh, again we 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 have we had again we we i want it in ui path sakathon we had a word with ui path we are still working on it uh, on the other hand dinesh is having a word with uh, uh, with microsoft itself you know to get it and nvidia to get it imbo, uh, to get it Im embedded or maybe to uh, enhance their old narrator but but just to give him some some more new features we tried you know giving him give, giving him a speed controller there and maybe maybe just just for just to try by integrating it with narrator all those things and he i'm hoping he's he's I, i had a word with him last two week i think two weeks back and he was still using that and i, I am hoping that it, nothing has changed in in this in this two weeks so yeah this was my project again just just to just to retrade the line a very simple process but a very big value it has literally changed someone's life it it just few kick few clicks you can read you you we have change the existing functionality of narrator we have enhanced the functionality to a whole new level whatever it is narrator will read it for you now and 
this was that was my hack, that, that was my hack experience of 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 one of the hackathons again i participated in many of the hackathons and uh, uh, and 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 my my projects were mainly based on cause and uh, again uh, I, the idea was of course to win the hackathons but the main idea was to help him also because i have seen the value which and and the change which which it has you know uh, give, uh, which 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 has come up with in someone's life and then i'm i i i got a chance to be a judge again with my experience i i i became a judge in few of the hackathons one one was one was very interesting which i would like to share it with you it was it was sis smart india hackathon and uh, just just to give you, give you a uh brief about about this this event it is it is india's biggest biggest hackathon and it and and it it, it is started by government of india uh, the prime the the respected prime minister of india he has started this hackathon and you can see the stats of 2019 and i i got a chance to be a judge in 2020s hackathon and uh, uh, what what all things i have learned from there what it's it's not only about judging the judging the people it's it was not only about um you know just 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 getting exposure to be a judge and just to participate in that it was not only about that it was it was about learning more from them and this is this is what this is few of the things which i have learned from there and trust me on this it was a whole new experience whole new learning level in two days so so that so the hackathon was for 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 two days when we were judging and mentoring the students and i i will not think twice before telling that the the knowledge which i have which i got in those two days about leadership teamwork and you know spontaneous solutions and the communication between the teams i have not managed to get the same in six months or a year it was a whole new learning for me and it it was be, because being a judge you are you it you are you are a mentor also you know you have to make sure that you are not biased when you when you see a process you you are judging them with with complete sincerity you know you know what the process is about what technologies they are using and uh, it it's 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 like you sit with them you talk you talk with the teams you give them proper guidance and if if it's okay to not know everything and you, you know you can being a judge you have to make sure that there are there are rules there are the, the we 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 are making sure that that whoever the winners are they deserve it and that was that was a whole new experience some of the pillars uh, a night a night a two days night two days and it it has completely changed my thinking of you know how because to be frank when when i when i started my career i was more of an independent developer i was more of a like i like to work on my i like to work alone if you give me a project i will do the analysis i will do the coding i will put it in production and, and i will do do it in my myself why do i need an analyst why do i need a tester why do i need a scrum even and the, because we we and that was my point of view and it has completely changed by you know going in these hackathons you see that everyone when when even when i'm giving a solution i think my solution is a perfect perfect one how can someone give more perfect solution than me but when you when you sit with five people in the hackathon and they all are bombard, bombarding with many of the solutions like you create a you come up with a solution which is which is you're like this is it this will win and there i learned the teamwork and how why 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 every person is important in a agile way and this 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 was few of the learnings um again a quick poll around here before going to the key key takeaways of my learning and uh, i will be asking jen's help again absolutely i'm here already uh, i anticipated this slide so um, i'm going to launch the, the next poll for you the next poll will start to show in the screen um, right now. The question is, do you think that the years of experience of an individual is important criteria for a role? That's a very interesting question to ask. Let's see what the audience is thinking about that. Good, I see a lot of people are already starting to respond. Good, I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds.
Good, almost all the votes are in, so I'll just share the results right now. I'm gonna close it, give me one second. And in this poll, v poll, the majority of people think yes, that the years of experience of an individual is an important criteria for a role. Let me hear your thoughts on that. Perfect. Now, now for, for uh, again, my opinion might lif differ a little here. Again, by I, I, I don't completely disagree with, you, with the people who have said that it matters. I, I totally agree with this is met that ex experience uh, number of years do make a lot of difference in, in, in his career. But uh, I I managed to I managed to be an architect. I managed to be a solutions architect uh, or and a manager uh, in in three years in three years of my time and uh, those and there I've learned that if if you are the right person if you are greedy enough to work on work on something and to learn more years of experience will not impact that much in 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 your in your career again. Again, just to be clear, I'm not saying it is it it is not playing that important role. It for sure, for sure, there will be always a difference from a, a, in an individual who is more experienced than an individual who is less experienced. And but it is not the important criteria for our role. I uh, I have seen people. I, I I've seen. Uh, I, I'm I, I'm 24 years of age. My boss, who is who is who was seated in uh, UK, he was also 24 years of age, and he he he's 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 a director of uh, uh, he 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 managed to become a director in in the in the role which he was playing the the AI and automation space, and uh, we we were just having a word, and he he congratulated me for for becoming an architect and um, becoming a manager, and and this was my question to him: Do you do you really think? Uh, does experience matters will because I see other other architects they are they are having 10 years of experience there are 10 years of experience 12 years of experience I'm simply a boy of three years of experience do you do you feel I will be uh, it will be challenging for me and trust me he said yes it will be for sure challenging for you people it's of course a challenging role it's architect role you have to make sure you create good designs but you have already showed this in your past you are already doing that so it's just a role for you you are already doing that work it's just a role you have already learned those technologies though designing and that that mindset of how to manage people's by you know by 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 being in hackathons by handling the teams by judging people i already i already indirectly was having experience of managing teams and he he's like you can do it and i i played that role for for approximately a year and trust me on this i I never faced a challenge. It it was it was too hectic in in for first few months. But I never faced a challenge. I actually loved it. So as for me, the experience never matters a lot. But it is not the most important criteria for a role. If you are greedy enough, if you are, if you are, if you trust yourself, you can get a role without even with without even years of experience, and you can fulfill the roles and responsibilities. If you are again, if you are if you are greedy enough. A quick question again, and I think it will be the last poll. So, so yeah, I will, I will, I will like to sh hear your views on this poll, guys. Good. I will want. will be again asking Jen. Oh. Are you there? Um, a quick reminder, uh, people, that we would only have two minutes left for for the session today. So, um, uh, last poll is: Do you think a community can plan and play can play an important role? in individuals, technology, and career growth. What is your thoughts on that? Good, for the sake of time, I'm going to um, make this a very quick poll. So you're just gonna get five seconds left. And I'm gonna show the results to everyone right now. So 85% thinks yes. I loved it. I loved it, guys. And this is this is the same this this is the same opinion I am having. I uh, th there are many people here who 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 are who I am working with as as a as a part of communities, and uh, they, they, there are others. And I have learned a lot with them. Every opportunity, even this even this this particular call is because of community again because of Jen, of course. But 
community plays a very important role in your day to day life it's not always one man it's the complete army <laughs> you you will learn a lot you sh- you you and those those are my those are my key key takeaways which i have you know which i have learned during the course of my life i i will I, I, again because of the time i will i will not talk talk about talk all of them i will quickly take the third one which i which i think is the most important one and which i don't want to miss that not everything is perfect for automation when you see a process never never just simply put a bot there make sure that you are not automating a wrong process because you are you will be making it worse if you are putting a change to a process make sure it is saving something it makes sense to business make sure you are you are thinking about the process before taking it by being a business mindset because you might as a developer feel like ah it's a good for automation it it can be automated but when 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 you will be a business it will be a little hard you know to to understand from their point of view and uh, i will not quickly i will not go through all of them but yeah the main main takeaways are not everything is good for automation community is very important and uh, you should you know ex- years of experience do matters but it's not a good judgment criteria for person capabilities and you can connect me on these platforms thank you so thanks much thanks so much people um let me first of all say that it's i always find it very very inspiring if people take the time and the effort to really think about uh, you know developing something that is actually making the lives of other people better so i think you're you're a great inspiration um you're obviously very young but you've already done so many things um so i really want you to, uh, to congratulate you for being an an example uh to others and also a quick inspiration unfortunately we, we don't have a, a lot of time to go into questions but i just have um uh, one uh, i would say very fundamental one that i want to uh, want to ask you if if you were to give one uh, piece of advice to maybe younger listeners or people who are inspired by your story on how they can make a difference with automation what would be your key piece of advice just in one or two sentences just 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 do it <laughs> just take the process just look at the process don't think it's impossible don't be afraid before before taking it just do it you will think that's a really feel. yeah i think that's a really good piece of advice um to just go for it um just go stay, it. stay eager and and learn a lot i think that's a really good uh, closing remark People I uh, I would like to thank you again for participating today and for your excellent presentation it's really been a great inspiration look forward to uh, discussing more with you in the, in, the, in the upcoming events thanks so much and we're going to close this session for now because we already have our last speaker waiting uh, to start presenting in around 10 minutes time from now so let me quickly um uh, share that next speaker So we're already going to what is already going to be our last full session before the closing remarks. So next up at 2 o'clock is Gunjan Ketterpol, who is an RPA solutions manager at Nice and our uh, Gunjan is going to discuss and educate us around AI driven virtual assistants, which is also a very cool topic that we're going to learn a lot more about. Thanks again people for your excellent contribution and I see the rest of the audience all back in 10 minutes. Thank you so much guys. I wish you a good day. Cheers.